All right, good morning, Wednesday, Wednesday morning, raining, and this is an emergency broadcast because I need your guys' help, man. I need it bad. I am so close to buying a Moog Muse and spending $3,500 that I think that I've lost my mind. So I need you guys in the comments to let me know if I should get this or if I should chill out and wait a little while and make sure everything works with this thing. But the problem is every single video I'm watching, there is zero negatives I'm hearing. And a lot of times when a synthesizer comes out, I'll listen to it and I'll be like, all right, this is, uh, this is pretty good, but I'm hearing some demos where I'm like, you know, this is, you know, it's like all fur coat and no knickers, if you know what I mean. I'm like, oh, it's kind of like they're, they're really putting it on here to make me think that this synthesizer is something special. With the Moog Muse daily, because, because there's synth renegades in the wild getting these everywhere now, not just the synth mafia. You get to hear real people with this thing. And... I'm telling you right now, it sounds majestic, it sounds inspiring, it sounds out of this world fun, and the problem is I don't have enough money for it. So you know what Dave Ramsey says, Dave Ramsey says, if you don't got the money, you don't buy it. So, a lot of people tell me I'm the, uh, I'm the inversion of Dave Ramsey. I'm Synth Ramsey. And Synth Ramsey says, if you want it, you go get it. And you do what it takes to get it. So what I'm thinking about doing is <laughs> melding the two worlds. I don't have enough money for it. I got about $1,600. That is less than half of what it costs to buy this thing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set up my little ticker and my little ticker box, I might put it on every single stream and every bit of money that I throw in my synth bank account that I've got created, had created, I'll update the synth ticker. And then as a journey together, once I achieve that $3,500 mark, then guilt-free, I will go out and purchase the Moog Muse or the Polybrew 12, which I'm kind of leaning back towards the Polybrew 12 now. I don't know. I like the Polybrew 12 more. You know I like the Cream Dream. You know that cookies, that cookie dough color, baby, got me all sprung. And that full touch sensation, you know? So I might end up leaning towards the, po the Arturia Polybrew. Did I say Korg Polybrew? It's early in the morning. I think Arturia Polybrew 12. So it's a race to the finish. I'm gonna give myself some time. I gotta make up that money. So I want you guys to know, or I want you guys to let me know, should I just back off this Moog Muse altogether? Are you guys feeling the same type of fever? My fever hasn't broken. It's been over a week. And my fever's still 107 point seven on the synth on the synth fever thermometer it just ain't breaking so i tried to go and break it by looking at the non-linear labs c15 fm synthesizer for five thousand dollars i don't know what happened with the muse just made me think that i that i had five thousand dollars to spend on a synthesizer two that i'm worthy of even touching one of these synthesizers I don't think I am. I need to stick to the Behringers and the, you know, the, uh, I need to stick to the cheaper stuff, I think, but the problem is, is all my freaking Korg synthesizers have lost half of their value because Korg keeps devaluing them and they're made of plastic. So I'm thinking about moving up their big boys where they will gain value over time. And I don't know. I got a feeling that the Moog Muse 
is going to go down in history as a really special synthesizer. Just like I think the Nonlinear Lab C15, although a few people say it's a it's a VST in a box, I don't think so, man. I think it's very special. I think that's going to go down in history as one of the greatest FM synthesizers. Polybrew 12 also is probably going to go down as one of the greatest synthesizers. And we still got Korg Prolog Mark II coming. We got the Novation, new polysynth in the works. You know Sequential's got something up their sleeve. I'm still thinking about getting the TEO5, but I just don't like... Problem is, is I don't like going and ordering something when they can't deliver it when I order it. I don't like more when Sweetwater's got more to come. Any day now, we'll have more and you order it. I don't like that because there's so many things happening. You know, I like, I can change my mind so fast. It's crazy. So right now I'm all sprung on. I got the Muse fever, the Moog Muse fever. It will not break. I talked to the wife last night. She's like, 3,500 bucks, are you serious? Do you really? That's expensive, and I'm like, I know. And, but she's expensive, because I was like, you know, Sweetwater let me throw that on this, this credit card. I, and she's like, you know, Samurai Baby, we don't do the credit card game. And I'm like, all right, I know that. She's like, so if you want it, you're gonna have to work hard and save up for it. And I'm like, well, work hard is my middle name. So, I think I will keep working hard and I'll get my ticker going. And my Moog Muse will be in sight. I think I could do it within six months. I think I could save up enough in six months. If I rearrange some things, go on to rice and beans diet. You know, I got a plan to brew my own beer. So I stopped spending freaking eight, or not eight, five, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars on craft beer. It's so delicious. Do you know what I mean? It's just so delicious. And uh, I like to have one every once in a while. You know, those hazy IPAs, those New England hazies. So you guys let me know what you think, man. I got the Muse fever. I know you guys all got the Muse fever because I'm seeing tons of people writing me emails. I'm getting like thousands of emails. People being like, I just bought the Moog Muse. I just bought the Moog Muse. I just bought the Moog Muse. And I'm like, I guess I got to get the Moog Muse too. So I, I feel like I'm wrapped up in this tornado that I can't get out of. Anyways, you guys let me know. I got the Muse fever. Please, somebody, tell me not to buy this thing. But don't just tell me not to buy it because less is more and and blah, 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 and all that bull crap. Because I'm living in synth abundance. I labeled it synth abundance. okay? A lot of people got synth guilt. I got synth abundance. I'm trying to live in synth abundance, you know? Like all those synth gurus say. Just manifest it, baby, manifest it. I'm gonna manifest it, that's, that's for sure. I will manifest it, but I will manifest it with hard work and pure US greenbacks. That's how I'm gonna manifest it. So let me know, should I not get it? But you need to give me a good reason. And maybe the reason is Samurai, just go get the uh, Oberheim TEO5, man. That will satiate all your needs for the moment. But then I got a huge mountain to climb if I wanna get that Moog Muse. Anyways, you guys let me know. It's Wednesday morning. It's awesome. We'll be back later. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Take it easy. So, so.